Whew, you guys good morning good morning good morning good morning so i am currently at my new apartment in Lagos, nigeria so i don't know if i actually talked to you guys about why i'm moving so i just feel like let me just quickly touch on it before i even begin this new apartment journey because i literally just moved to nigeria into my new place like some months ago and now i'm moving back out so i feel like i kind of owe you guys an explanation you know because i just feel like that is like emotionally unstable and you guys deserve an answer right you deserve an explanation so you're gonna get it when i first moved back late december early january right and did the paperwork and all that stuff it was fine it was great um so what's happening right now is that these are my lease to be due when they actually did the handover and actually had the apartment ready for me to be moved in ready they're trying to do my lease to be renewed when i actually signed the contract which was in february which was in like january or february so they're pretty much trying to get one over on me um in that house and honestly i'm over it i'm tired of nigerians doing this shit i'm sorry excuse my language it's very frustrating being out here by myself trying to find my leg by myself and people keep trying to be funny they're trying to move funny they're trying to like they're trying to outsmart your girl you know but i'm not one to fuck with like i don't like stress i don't like wahala like i don't like any of those nonsense things that they like to do so i'm gonna stand my ground and the way of standing my ground is saying piss off i'm getting the fuck out of here and that's pretty much what i'm doing um so anyways i pretty much trying to say that um i have to renew my lease by february by february 1st and honestly like i literally haven't even lived in that house for up to it's only been eight months you guys since i moved in i should have at least four more months left in that house before i have to like think about if i want to renew my lease but i've been going through so much since i moved in you guys let me just gist you guys just carry a popcorn let me gist you guys let me drink water because i'm a little dry a little thirsty right now but let me let me go ahead and tell you guys what's happening when i first moved in um i had some problems with the tile in the house the, the tile the flooring it was stained and it was gross i'm like if you're giving me a key to a new house shouldn't it be in perfect condition like shouldn't it, shouldn't it be nice shouldn't it be perfect like if you took literally three months for you to hand over the keys to me from when i signed the contract shouldn't the house be in good condition and I called them i was complaining like this is not working the plumbing was a mess i had to do plumbing myself some of the toilets in the house were having issues i had to fix them the house it was a mess there was so much i had to do i had to literally put air condition all over the house and this is the house that i'm renting you guys it's a place you're renting it's supposed to have air condition it's supposed to have all these things i had to buy everything from an air condition down to a kitchen stove in that house just to have it ready and livable it sucks because it's like you're spending all this money <clears throat> you spend all this money and you should be getting quality or you think you should be getting quality but you're not you're literally just like managing through the bullshit and nigerians do this thing where like they like to package rubbish as luxury so like from the outside looking in like the average nigerian would be like wow that's a really nice house like what what were you expecting or oh, that's like too big for you blah blah, blah. and honestly it's the most basic thing the most basic place and the house looks really nice from the outside sorry y'all i can't be out here chapped okay anyways but the house looks really nice from the outside but then you go inside and the structure is like they don't know how to fucking build like they can do like nigerians are very good at building a proper structure but in terms of like the functionality of a building they are horrible at that so you can have a beautiful house from the outside it looks really really great and then you go inside and it's like nothing is functioning properly even something as little as ventilation is a fucking problem like the house the moisture level is crazy i've been having mold issues like my clothing were ruined i was having like green stuff fungal growing in my closet it was just it's fucking disgusting you guys and then i had this issue i was telling you guys about the tile that i was trying to clean when i first moved in and the person that was supposed to fix the tile was brought to me from the realtor um real um the realtor agency or whatever that i used um so they brought her in so i was thinking i'm like okay you know they're a professional company so i'm guessing that this person is a professional and they know what they're doing <clears throat> I was wrong um so it's like okay the person that was assigned to bring in the cleaners to my unit she ended up bringing her sister and i didn't realize this until i started like 
talking to the cleaner when she was doing her job and i realized like oh she kind of looks oddly similar to the girl that works for the company so i'm like oh are you guys related she said yes that was a red flag for me but for some reason i was i was still new here so i wasn't like i didn't put two and two together until things went left until yawa gassed you guys i was like oh okay i see what she did now anyways let me tell you what she did so the girl came to my house you guys and brought this chemical which i now realize it's not really it's like it's a fucking acid she brought acid to my house you guys to clean my tile it kind of acid where like when you're using you have to be in a well ventilated space and mind you i just told you guys about the structure of the houses here they're not they, they don't function like they look they stand but they don't function so she brought the acid to my house now insert pictures of what this acid did to me you guys I'm just so thankful I'm still alive. Uh, so the moment she put the acid on the floor, I smelt it from upstairs. Mind you, my place is like three floors. So I was at the very, very last room and I could perceive the smell. So I ran downstairs. I'm like, I couldn't breathe. Like literally the moment I was coming out, I couldn't breathe. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, oh, madam, you have to come outside though. You have to come outside. I said, well, what did you put? Like, like, what the fuck did you put on my floor? She said, oh, it's a chemical. It's supposed to remove the, the stain from the tire. It will work. It will work. It's just very strong. That's why it needs to be very strong to remove the to remove the stain from... Bro. Anyways, so I ran outside. We both are outside chilling because we can no longer enter the house because the chemical she, she used, the fumes is so strong that literally you cannot be in the same premises. If not, you will die. Uh, so I had to go outside and I, I waited for the chemical to die out, which it didn't the whole day was horrible so the the floor started to um the floor started to like bubble up which you you have to understand but for you to put a chemical on a tile and the, the tile is like bubbling up that chemical is fucking strong she was supposed to cover my furniture and make sure that everything is safe before she she used whatever chemical that was but she didn't do that she literally just used the chemicals and guess what every single metal you guys down to my furnitures down to my staircase railing down to my spoons in the kitchen and pot covers everything every single metal in the house turned red turned red you guys this house has been haunting my life I don't even sleep home anymore like I don't sleep at home anymore <laughs> I avoid that house at all costs and it just like and then they're like doing this whole nonsense with the whole renew lease renewal thing and i'm just like you can't fucking have it like i haven't told them i'm moving out yet but they'll find out they will find out so that's what's been going on so i've been dealing with all of that stress and then i was like you know what i was talking to my mom about it i talked to my boyfriend about it I'm like yo like do you even want to stay there again like is it even worth it with all the stress and then the chemicals like i don't even know what that chemical could do to me on the, in the long run like the longer i stay there who knows the implications of those things and it, and like i said the house is not even ventilated so it's still there even after they came and sent somebody to scrub that redness off the chemical had already eaten the metal so bad that it didn't even matter what they did everything is already damaged my new chair that i bought for hair like the salon chair is damaged the hydraulics doesn't work it's still red it's rusted to the core so it's like you know like like what do i do so do i just stay here and keep managing like every other nigerian fucking does in this country with everything that's mediocre or do i just up and go and be like fuck it so honestly I said fuck it so here I am I looked for a new apartment within like a day I found this spot and you guys honestly I'm so happy I found this apartment because guess what it's exactly what I need right now it fits my life right now it's perfect it's the closest thing to home not home it's the closest thing to what I had in Dallas that I could find in this Lagos <laughs> okay and it's very very beautiful you guys so top notch so bomb i gotta show y'all i gotta show y'all i'm gonna do an empty apartment tour so you guys can see so so pretty i don't know if i'll do it before it was cleaned or after it was clean it just depends on how everything goes today like i told you guys i'm moving today so there's a lot going on so i may not have time but yeah you guys it's a fucking lit it's so beautiful so much natural light has elevators security is like double so it's very very beautiful very very clean like oh my god very very nice i love it here and the one thing i love the most about this place is like it has a lot of people 
like a lot of young people a lot of youths that i could like meet and make friends with because you guys i don't have friends here i don't have friends here i'm already anti-social i'm already like an introvert so like making friends in a in an estate where it's very family oriented like my old place it's hard like i don't even know what my neighbors look like two of the buildings beside me nobody has occupied them yet i didn't know what any of the other residents in the in the in the in the estate look like i, I hadn't you know like it's very family-ish so if you didn't have like a husband wife and kids it's hard to kind of relate to the other people there so yeah i was just very very lonely i was very sad i started noticing like like you listen you guys like when you, you have to pay attention to how you start feeling in places like i'm the type of person if i feel if i start getting negative feelings and like negative like energy from a space i have to leave i can't stay there like i started noticing i would get start feeling depressed and getting sad and lonely and those are not the type of feelings i welcome in my life like i'm not the type of person that's so quick to be like oh i'm depressed like i feel like depression sometimes is one of those things where if when you accept it and you start saying oh i'm depressed and start actually acting depressed and 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 and, and encouraging those feelings and not trying to fight it it will just consume you and become you i just don't accept it and i fight it and i move i change things like to make myself feel the way that i want to feel like i'm not going to sit there and accept the feeling of depression i'm not going to sit there and accept the feeling of loneliness or sadness like that's not who i am i'm a fucking merry day like i'm not gonna sit there and be all like oh my god like no you have to control your mind because if you don't all those shit will fuck you up so especially in a place like nigeria where mental health is not even a priority if you don't prioritize your mental health like you could go mad everybody here is mad you join them <laughs> so yeah like that's how i've just been dealing with it and then trying to build clients here and all that it's been another story of its own but honestly it's doing better than i thought um we'll just about that next time um so yeah it's just a little update about what i've been going through and um what i've been dealing with with housing and and social life and all that you guys are so hard to make friends it's so hard to fucking make friends in lagos like i've tried like i've met some really amazing people you know but i'm the type of person like when i when i think of friendship like when i think of friendship i'm super like i'm super like I want something authentic and i don't have the type of personality trait i don't have the type of personality trait that can like that you can like fake things with and like fake a connection with like if i'm not into someone if i don't like you i'm not gonna hang out with you like i'm not gonna hit you up like that's how i am so like i don't like surface level friendship i don't like small talks like when i have a friend that i love like it would generally feel like a sibling love like you would be like a family to me that's how i am like i'm very close with my friends i have close friends like all my friends that are my friends like we're super close like close close if we're not we're probably just associates that's how it works but th there's not like an in-between like lukewarm friendship with me but here i feel like you kind of have to have those like you know those small talk friendships where you use them for connections and and i don't have the fucking energy for that like i don't have the strength for that i can't just sit there and fake anything with anybody like i don't care enough to do that like i literally don't care enough to do that so i feel like that's my problem here in lagos um everybody is friends with any everybody to, to, you know it's about who you know or who knows you or whatever so people are always in people's faces what do you do and then depending on what you do that's how they decide on if they want to fuck with you or not to see if you have anything to offer them or if you don't and honestly i don't have the strength i don't have the energy i'll find my leg in this country yes but i don't know i don't know i don't fucking know i don't know i don't know but anyways um yeah that's that's pretty much it for what's been going on with me um my mom will be coming to visit in a couple of days not a couple of days should be my mom will be coming to visit in a couple of weeks and i'm excited I'm so excited you guys like I haven't seen my mom in a while so it would be nice to have a home cooked meal and I think she's gonna love this place you guys she's gonna love it way more than the other place she already loves it I sent her a video like it's just such a different energy here different vibe here like the people are nicer oh guys so it's been like really really hard especially not having like friends here um not having like support system here that i could just like 
go to i mean my family has been great like my extended family that live out here they've been great but i feel like i've intentionally been leaving them out of my process because i want to do this by myself like i want to be independent on my own i want to find my own leg in this country and not feel like i have to lean on my family for like help in terms of like figuring things out and getting things done because honestly i'm a very independent person and when i don't have my independence i feel crippled so i have to do this by myself so i don't know that's just where i am right now in life so <laughs> help me <laughs> help me <laughs> help me <laughs> taking you guys with me on my journey through lagos so i'm gonna be taking you guys through the renovation process of this place which is gonna be stressful you guys like this stressed me out the very first time i did it but at least now i, I know exactly who to contact how much the prices are i know how to negotiate prices and i don't even waste time like i just tell you what i want to pay you and if you don't want to do it you 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 could step like literally there's somebody there's always somebody in this lagos that is willing to do your job times three cheaper like three times like lower than the, your your service price so i don't even trip about it no more like as long as i can find somebody that has sense somebody that has good morals that i can bring into my house that has good energy that will do the job and do it well and not charge me crazy for it okay so that's the vibe i'm on so i'm gonna be taking you guys with me i'll be giving you guys a list of my trusted vendors for anyone that's in nigeria that just moved back or looking to move back or whatever this is you know the situation is with you i'll be putting all my vendor lists for you to contact you can use me as a reference you know for them they'll be great amazing people that will not swindle you and do nonsense work for you trust me i've been through it okay <laughs> i've been through it so i know how to like you know, I know what to look for when I'm looking for vendors. I know the price points that things typically range from. Well, at least I have a better sense now than before because I lost so much money when I first moved back trying to do this shit on my own and figure it out. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never would have made it. Okay. I should stop showing you all this apartment. Okay. All right.